it's always baffled me how, well, I mean, I guess, <clears throat> you know, it's what you're born into, but it, it's, it's always been strange to me how some people can feel more comfortable just, you know, taking a pill and, and yet not try a, a tincture or a tea or maybe any, anything natural. Um, there's just like a disconnect, it seems, with a lot of folks that they're more comfortable doing something that they can buy on a shelf or get prescribed to them through wh who they see as, you know, a doctor. You know, do you think that that's starting to change? I do. I do. I think that the need is making it change. I think there's just vast, vast kind of fluctuations, ebb and flows over time. And I like to think of time in a very expanded way. So I like to think about what we're doing today and what we did 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, and 100,000 years ago. Well, 100,000 years ago, no one was taking any pharmaceuticals. Today, lots of people are taking lots of pharmaceuticals, right? Uh, 10,000 years ago, we knew more healing practices than we did 100,000 years ago, right? Today, those practices are still being practiced in small populations all around the world. So right now, those healing arts are being practiced and people are receiving benefit from them. Right now, lots of prescriptions are being written and sold, right? So that gives me choice. And I need to take responsibility for my health. My health is one of the most important things that I can have in life, probably the most important, and it's the most important resource I can have and we can have and share as a society. If your community is sick, you're sick. When you live in a tribal society, because it's such a small population living from the forest itself, if anyone in the tribe is sick, the tribe is less capable as being a survival unit than if everybody's healthy. So we've gotten into this mindset of, you know, measuring disease, not measuring health. So as we take responsibility for our health, we start to realize being healthy is a form of, of, of not needing medicines because I'm living a lifestyle that's a very healthy lifestyle. That starts with diet. That starts with hydration. It starts with different kinds of physical activity. Don't really like the term exercise because I see exercise actually can do a lot of harm to people. So I just like physical activity. There's a lot of physical activity to life itself. So you have diet, you have hydration, you have physical activity. Diet is bringing in the molecules, compounds, medicines that I need to be able to sustain the physical body. The physical body doesn't just sustain itself by itself. Every breath is an exchange of molecules and atoms that's nourishing the body itself. So as I, as I take responsibility for my health, as I take responsibility for the health of the people around me, I can start to see that I need many more options than what I'm just being kind of force fed or presented with. You know, and if you look at the way medicine's really practiced, sadly, I think a lot to do with the economics around it, you get sent to really the worst care first, not the best care first. It's like, I just go to urgent care. Well, urgent care is designed to urgently intervene, not go in depth into my problem, right? We need to start at, let's go in depth into the problem, understand the problem completely, and then start to treat it. But the system isn't designed that way. So I have to take that responsibility for myself. In doing so, I need to do research. I need to learn. And it's exciting. It's really interesting stuff. There's an unbelievable amount of information about it to learn more about how your body works, which is unique. And I think of every human being as a unique miracle because there's still no true explanation for us. We're all a unique one-off. They break the mold every time. The DNA is different. The genetics are different. It's different every time. It's a miracle. So to get to know your own miracle in a more intimate way, in a more in-depth way is actually really exciting. And you start to find out that, you know, your body is going to work different to somebody else's. And there's just so much more that's out there that you can receive and that you can bring to your own life. And then through that, the life of others. And I think as you take that opportunity in the modern world, yeah, it has thousands of pharmaceuticals, but now there are also thousands of globally known healing techniques. And there's hundreds and thousands of medicinal plants. And there's, you know, different kinds of, of body care and holistic practices that support. So if you bring all of that together, it's just a richer pantheon of ways of being able to support health and ultimately treat illness if necessary.